Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for November 27th through December 3rd. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Now I have to tell you this is not a private reading so it may not resonate. It may or it may not. It's not a private reading. And it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm going to go ahead and lay them out now, and I will uh, focus this in correctly once I have the cards laid out. Okie dokie. So, I'm going to get this zoomed in. The basis of your reading is the moon card. That tells me that you are being asked to look beyond the surface. I just did the Taurus reading and they had the moon card as well. But it was from a different deck. But, needless to say, you must look beyond the surface, okay? That's what this card says. Something is not as it seems. You're not reading something correctly. Look beyond the sur surface. Dig deep to get your answers. You're really going to need to observe the situation fully, okay? Observe the situation from many different standpoints, okay? Um, I feel like it's a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. You know, it's a time of fertility, all right. I feel like many of you have released some uh, raw emotions that probably were very um, deceitful. You know, there was some some kind of deceit or lies or something. The devil is reversed, but they've been re they've been revealed. They've been released. Okay, whether it's you or the other person, something has been revealed that. Um, has probably made somebody feel unloved or unable to offer love because we have the Four of Cups here. There's some some um, overanalyzing that's going on, okay? But the over it's kind of odd because the overanalyzing isn't it's still on the surface because you need to go deeper. You don't look at the surface, go deep to get your answers. I mean, I have to really reiterate that because that's the basis of your reading. I mean, that's the strongest point in this reading. You need to look beyond the surface. Whatever's going on behind the scenes, you don't know about. You don't know the whole story, okay? You don't. You, a secret hasn't come out or a secret has come out and you don't quite understand it because you don't know the whole story. I mean, that's what it feels like. It feels like perhaps some, yeah, something has been released or, reve or uh, revealed that has um, really impacted things in your life. There could have been some manipulation here. You know, there's definitely with the devil and this, um, this is Capricorn as well. You know, there's been some manipulation and I think the manipulation has probably been revealed for some of you. The raw truth, the cold hard truth has come out and that's what this Ace of Swords is. The cold hard truth has come out and now um, you're, you're forced with a decision on which way to go, okay? And I think there's definitely been some grieving, there's been some suffering, there's been some heartache. And I think that... Um, Perhaps some of your self-respect has been hurt, or diminished, you know what I mean? Some of your self-respect has, your pride has been hurt, your ego, you know, because there's a lack of self-respect here or, or a lack of respect for another. Maybe somebody doesn't respect you or you don't respect them. Somewhere there's a lack of respect, okay? And I think that something has happened that was very harsh, you know, so there were some harsh words where somebody didn't think about the consequences. They just spoke. They spoke because they needed to, whether that was you or the other person. Um, and I feel like that, because that happened, you know, now that the cards are all on the table, wh whoever this is for, it's a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. Okay? That's what it is. It looks like 
Um, now it's time to nurture yourself. It's time to nurture your soul. It's time to um, look at this as a time of renewal, okay? Use your inner strength. Use your compassion. Love without expectations. This is the Empress, by the way, okay? It's, that's why all this happened, because you need to love without expectations. And I know that can be really hard. Everybody has expectations. But when the Empress card comes out, she loves without expectations, okay? Um, and I think there's definitely been some manipulation that has caused somebody to feel unloved or unable to offer love, okay, because of the Four of Cups. And there's been a lot of grieving. There's been a lot of heartache. There's been some, it's been hard, okay? And I think this week you are being called to really look beyond the surface. What is on the outside of the house is not what is going on on the inside, okay? That's the message for this week. Whether it's your house or your or the person or your work or whatever, or whatever you think you know, you don't. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why the moon card is the basis of your reading. Now, we're gonna switch it up. We do have the lover's card here. This is an unexpected choice in love, where all of a sudden, something comes into your life which asks you to make a decision okay whether it's about love or family or whatever you're being called to make a decision and be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice okay that's what the lover's card is do you stay where you are or do you move forward okay because this is a choice okay when the lover's card comes out be prepared to live with the consequences all right it's time to free yourself from something and you know it is there's no more pretending something has come out you can't pretend any longer it's time to walk away from something you know what the truth is the truth has come out there's been some kind of manipulation okay and something came out very harshly and I think that many of you have let go or you're contemplating letting go this week you know there's something too heavy that you can't carry around anymore I can't do this anymore that's what I see okay I can't do this anymore my heart can't take it all right I'm gonna get the next deck for some of you there's no love being offered or you're unable to give love in a direction it's over there's something that it's just it's no longer there you know Something came out that was pretty harsh, hurtful, some kind of lies. And now it's like, you know, I, I can't do this anymore. It's time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. It's a time to start over. Um, Letting go, it's time to let go of the past. Whatever has happened, that whatever truth came out, whatever secret was revealed, it's time to let it go. You have to. You have to let it go. You can't stay stuck in this position forever. I mean, come on now. You can't. It's time to look at it from a new perspective. It's time to get moving. Think of it as an adventure, some something new, something to be excited about. All right. Great. Things are going to change now. This is perfect. I'm thinking of it like that. Whatever truth came out that hurt is leading you to be more excitement. Okay, that's what I see. Now you can show your passion truly for what you want. Okay? Time to put yourself in the driver's seat. It's time to take charge. It's time to get moving. What? It's time to make a decision. Which way do you go? You go backwards or do you go forwards? What's it going to be? Okay? You have to master your emotions. Follow your own path. Get moving. You will be successful. This is success. Replace any fear you have of failure with faith. Okay? You have new growth here. Something very good is coming. New growth, a new adventure. Something exciting is coming. 
okay? Which is going to bring you happiness. The only thing is, is you have to get moving before this happiness can come fully. You have to take the lead. You're the driver. You drive this ship. Where's your willpower? All right? There's no sense staying someplace where there's challenges, okay? There's challenges and there's conflicts and spitefulness and I mean there's a lot of spiteful energy here where somebody's just just staying and it's no good all right it's time to to use your courage and your strength and your willpower and accept the challenges ahead of you put yourself in the driver's seat you drive, get moving. When you do, you will be very happy. There will be a renewal of you. Remember, something isn't as it seems. That is the basis of your reading. Something isn't as it seems. I think somebody has been lying. Okay? And I think the secret came out. And now you are being called. You have to make a decision. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your decision. What's? A, I mean, you have to look beyond the surface. The surface is not going to give you the answer. The answers are hidden. Find them. Interesting. You are limitless. You're limitless. Did you know that? Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. You are limitless. At times we are too close to a situation and can only see things from one perspective. There is a multitude of possible outcomes to this situation. Take a broader outlook. Release the need to control what is happening and allow your inner knowing to assist you. Things always work out as they should. Take a broader outlook are the key words. I have told you multiple times to look beyond the surface. The outside of the house does not tell you what is going on in the inside. Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I will talk to you next week. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my Let's Talks or my welcome video or join my group. I wish you the best.